today we're making peanut butter cornflake bars. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. In our pan here, we want a half a cup of corn syrup, a cup of peanut butter, and half a cup of <laughs> granulated sugar. So we're gonna get all of that in here. This is a fun and easy no-bake recipe. So it's nice and quick. And you want some milk? Mm-hmm. I'll get the other stuff in. Okay. Now we've got our pan on medium low. We just wanna get everything warmed up and nice and gooey. Cause that's what's gonna hold these bars together. So this is a great um, recipe for summer when it's kind of hot out and you don't want to heat up the kitchen. It's also just a great quick and easy recipe. If you know you have somebody coming over and you need like a last minute treat, and this is a, a nice easy one that doesn't make a lot of mess or require a lot of effort. I just... So we have all that in there. Yep, we have our sugar corn syrup and peanut butter in there. Like I said, we're just gonna get it all melty. You don't really wanna bring it to a boil or anything. You just wanna get that sugar dissolved to get everything kind of gooey and, and well mixed. So you might also know this recipe by the name of like scotch bars or um, something along that lines. We just call them peanut butter corn flake bars because that makes it very obvious yeah, uh, what, it what it is. what it is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's several different kinds of things that people end up calling scotch bars, so. All right, so that's coming together pretty good already. We just need to get the sugar dissolved a little bit more and get it all mixed in. Mm -hmm. This is coming together pretty good. Yeah. Pretty quickly. I think the pan was already kind of warm, so it helped. Yeah, as you guys know, we love our peanut butter and chocolate treats, so. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take much for us to fall in love with a treat like this. Mm -hmm. All right, that's looking pretty good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy, like peanut butter. Yep. As you can see, it's gooey and creamy. I'll go ahead and turn the heat off and we'll um, turn in those, oh, make sure I got it off and not up, <laughs> um, stir in the cornflakes. It's okay if they get mashed up a little bit because you're going to kind of smash them down in a minute anyway. Yeah. This isn't something like, or like, some things you want done whole, but with this, you don't really, you, you're going to break them up a lot, so. Yeah. Like puppy chow, you want them to be the whole pieces, but yeah, these with, you're going to push down on them to with help this, them all together. Yeah. With this, it's going to be like a bar you pick up. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to pick it up and eat it. You're not going to take a few pieces. You're going to pick up a chunk. Yep, so we're going to get this good and mixed so that it's evenly distributed here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it in a greased eight inch pan. So we've got that ready to go for us already here. Alright, get that out of the way and see if we can't get this on the pan. Oh yeah, just came out of the big <laughs> plop. Alright. See? Maybe flake won't come out. Nice and easy. Yep. He knows my tricks. <laughs> I saw this and I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I can just use this. Yep, just get it kind of evenly spread in there, and then it is good to use the bottom of a measuring yeah. cup or the bottom of a glass. Because like something. this bowl's a little big to do that with. Yep, the measuring cup makes it easier to get into all the corners. Yeah, so just a little half cup measuring cup is perfect. Yep, and the whole point of this is to spread it out in the pan and to uh, make sure that it stays held together so you can cut it yeah. in a bar and it'll stick later. So you want to push it down pretty hard. Yeah, if you don't um, get it uh, pressed down like this, then it, there's a chance it'll fall apart when you try to get it down later. So this yeah. is your chance to get it nice and solid. It's still going to have plenty of crunch, so you don't have to worry too much about breaking the cornflakes again because it's going to... 
It'll be just fine. All right. Yep. Once that's nice and spread out, we have in here three quarters of a cup of um, chocolate chips. We use milk chocolate because those are his favorite. And then a couple tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. And we're going to use this as the icing on top. So we'll just go ahead and put it on there and spread it out. We melted that in the microwave. Um, you want to do like 20 and 30 second increments so that you don't scorch it um, until it's just melted so that you can stir it smooth. Easy peasy. I think that took us about 45 seconds or so to get it um, melted and, and smooth. Want me to help you get the rest out of there? Yep. You got most of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so then while everything's still warm, we just want to spread the melted chocolate over top of the bars. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let it set up for a little bit. You can do that by just letting it sit on the counter for an hour or so just to make sure that it's set up. Or you can stick it in the refrigerator if you're in a hurry um, just to make sure that chocolate's not too runny. It would be delicious this way, but extra messy. Yeah. So this should put a nice little layer of chocolate on everything. Easy peasy. You watch us make it in real time, basically, other than the 45 seconds or so it took in the microwave to melt the chocolate. So... Mm -hmm. That's all the longer it takes. It doesn't get much easier than that. Um, we'll go ahead and let this set up, and we will be back in a little while to show you what it looks like when it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back, and they're set up. And this piece is obviously mine because it has an L on it. So I think I get that piece, the big piece. Oh, brother. But here's the pan of... Uh, Peanut buttery cornflake bars. Cornflake bars. All right, let's see how we did. Looks promising. Let's see how my piece is. So, you can see the chocolate on top, the chocolate peanut butter on top, um, and the um, whatever it is, and yep, so it's <laughs> the peanut butter. You can already the... hear when he's cutting it that it's good and crunchy mm -hmm. and good. Not bad. Yep, pretty good. It's crunchy. It's got peanut butter and chocolate and all the good stuff. Mimi's gonna hate it. Because of the crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch, crunch. crunch, crunch. <laughs> she loves the crunching, doesn't she? She loves to um, criticize the crunching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Poor Mimi. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, if you want a fun and easy, quick and simple recipe, peanut butter cornflake bars. Make sure... Mimi's sitting by Pops when he has one. <laughs> <laughs> because she hates the crunching. She hates it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos for more recipe ideas, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.